Hello guys and welcome back to another mod Monday. Today we're checking out the advanced logistics mod by Mercia Ruata and for those of you who don't know, this throws in the option of using adjustable splitters and mergers to the mix of logistics that we already have in game. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Unlocked in tier 3 of the hub, advanced logistics costs a total of 25 rotors, 250 quickwire and 200 iron plates. You can then find the adjustable splitter costing iron plates, rotors and quickwire, as well as the adjustable merger costing rods, rotors and quickwire in the logistics section. I'll admit at first I was concerned that Tier 3 might be too early for having these logistic options, but I think that with us still needing to research Katerium Quickwire to build this, that it is actually pretty well balanced on the whole. Once placed, we have the option to set the output input ratio for each input output, as well as an option to choose how the splitter merger responds if a section is full or empty. This is incredibly useful on the face of it. For an adjustable splitter, we can create ratios allowing for 10 ingots to go off to the plate factory, 10 ingots off to become rods, then 10 off to become screws. However, these if full options allow us to create priority options. For example, if the middle section sending ingots to become rods is full, we can prioritize all excess ingots to go to the plate input and then the screw input. We can also halt all further splitting by using the wait command. If you're running your factory according to perfect ratios, this can be very useful. The same option exists for the merger as well, which is actually very useful in its own right, allowing us to create queues of different items ready to go into a manufacturer's input. If you're waiting on a particular item, then the whole system will freeze until the required item is replenished. And having this allows us some incredibly useful options, which can be combined to create more complex systems, which will queue items according to ratios rather than item names. So I would say if you're looking for a mod that you can add to your playthrough that won't drastically change the game, but instead adds a quality of life feature to help you improve the efficiency of your factory while still feeling balanced, then I do highly recommend this mod. Anyway guys, that's all we have time for in this video. So thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the showcase, please do drop a thumbs up. It does mean a lot to me. And obviously if you want to see more of my content, you can find me on Twitch or you can also find more of my content on here. Do click the subscribe button if you haven't already and you do that my stuff. Anyway guys, I have to say thank you so much for watching with a special thanks going to our Solar Eclipse Patreons, The Calamity, Tommy Ostgard, and Bo Papa, as well as our Lunar Eclipse Patreon, Matt Lippard, and our Blood Moon Patron of the day, Papa Snoozy. Anyway guys, until next time, as always, ciao for now. <laughs>